Okay. Well, this is interesting of a video to make. It's about the incident that just happened, like, I don't know, two minutes or something ago. I don't even know how long. When it came with Hamlin, Bush, and Elliot's collision and everything that I'd seen blaming Denny Hamlin and Kurt Bush for the incident. It was everyone's fault. Hamlin got loose. Kurt Busch hung it left trying to keep it out of the wall. Chase Elliott didn't go down low enough to dodge the crash. It's everybody's fault that that Kurt Busch and Chase Elliott's playoff hopes got destroyed. I'm a Chase Elliott fan, and I hated to see that happen. I broke down at that point. That was very, very annoying. But I didn't blame Hamlin. I didn't blame Bush. I kind of blamed Elliott. I mean, if he'd gone down lower, then... There was nobody underneath him. If he had to go down, Byron was behind him. If he has to go down, Byron's going to let him in. Byron is his teammate. Byron's going to let him in. He's not going to keep keep going and turn the nine into the wall. He's a teammate. He wouldn't do that. So, it's Chase Elliott's fault for not coming down and dodging that crash. And that's why he finished 23rd three laps down. And it's heartbreaking. But you know what? Chase Elliott overperformed of what the Chevrolet Camaro could do this year. He was not, he, he didn't do very well at the beginning of the year, but then once the Chevrolet Camaro started to develop, well, he, well, he went three races, two in the round of 12. It was sad to see him go the way he did, but you know what? There's always Homestead. He can always win that, and you know what? Next year is a brand new year be the second year for the Chevrolet Camaro, and that should hopefully be enough to maybe make it so it's just not Chase Elliott and Austin Dillon as the only Chevrolets to win this season. But I wanted to make this video I mean, like, guys, it's everybody's fault. The fact that Chase Elliott's championship hopes are gone. I know there's a lot of Chase Elliott fanboys, including myself, who are incredibly hurt by this and just want to take out the blame on somebody. And since... We all hate Denny Hamlin because of what he did at Martinsville. This isn't like Martinsville. Martinsville, he took Chase Elliott out intentionally. Well, not intent. Well, maybe intentionally. He bumped him right out of the way, turned him. So I mean, there, there's actually a, a reason. I, what are the words I'm looking for here? So in Martinsville, Denny in didn't intentionally, but Denny took out Chase. That's we all can agree that that's what he did. In this one, it was more Kurt Busch who took out Chase because he tries trying to hunt, hang it left, didn't see the nine coming. Of course, he doesn't mean to take out the nine. He doesn't want to take him out, but what does he do? He does. So I really think it's everybody's fault for that, and I would like stop, stop it. Just I'm already expecting the wave of everybody hating, also hating this video for what I've said. But you know what? It's truth. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.